got seven men on the outside. Repeat, seven inmates gone rabid. Get the dogs! My name is Tom Paxton. I'm on an undercover mission for the company at Fox River State Penitentiary. If you're hearing this, that means I'm dead. Inmates over the wall! The skirt! The skirt! <laughs> First thing you learn in this business, cover your back. This recording is my insurance. New assignment, Paxton. You're going undercover at Fox River Penitentiary. Come on, boss. Prison? Your subject is Lincoln Burroughs. We framed him for the murder of the Vice President's brother. Buried him good. But now his kid brother's in a mix. Michael Schofield, clean-cut kid, genius type. Suddenly holds up a bank and gets himself sent to Fox River. We need to know what he's up to. Secret Service? Or is the company pulling the strings? Company business. We worked hard to put Burroughs in the ground. We need to know if Schofield's gonna mess that up. You don't like me, do you, Mannix? Not much, but this has nothing to do with that. Observe and report, that's your mission. No rough stuff. Anyone finds out I'm an agent, I'm dead. What's my cover? Murder one. I did you a favor. Could have made a child molested. At Paxson, leave the voice recording. Summer camp, kiddies. Roll call. Fiorello. Back again, dumbass? Looks like it, boss. Shut up, stupid. All I want to hear is yes, sir. Yes, sir. Schofield. Yes, sir. Paxton. You playing games, son? Look at me and call it out. You got to learn to listen, Con. Yes, sir. It's prison. They got some real hard cases here. The Southside Butcher, the guy who killed the VP's brother. I wouldn't know. Don't talk much, do you? And you don't shut up. This is prison. I'm not here to make friends. Jones, open up the gate. Okay, animals, get your ass inside and meet your new pal, Officer Bellick. Just think of Bellick as your new cruise director. Hey, watch your step. Hey, I didn't do it, man. Shut your pie holes, ladies, and listen to Patterson. Welcome to your new home, convicts. We're taking off your cuffs, but don't try anything, cute. One false move and you'll do your time hog time. Now move on down the hall to our VIP welcome center. Hurry up, boys. You don't want to keep Bellic waiting. Faster, move your ass! There isn't any flying under my radar. We're done here. Move along. You're next, fish. Name and back number. Paxton Thomas. 
133709. You playing games, Paxton? Not me, boss. Good, because any games that go on in here, I win. Now swim along, guppy. Let's go. Follow me. Wait here. You up the stairs now. Ha ha! Ain't no one gonna save your ass now. Come closer, and you get a close thirty-nine. Schofield, get in. Sucra, you got a new friend. Make him feel at home. Close 40! Paxton, you're next! Oh. <laughs> Look at the fishy I caught! Avocado, cut the crap! I don't exist. I'm an agent for the company, an organization who keeps the world stable by controlling economies and telling countries not to blow each other up. Burroughs is a small pawn in a bigger game. The company needs him to go on ice, on schedule, and that's what's gonna happen. My mission is to observe and report, but you don't send a guy like me to a place like this unless you're expecting to see some blood spilled. Here's hoping it's not mine. One thing about Schofield, his tattoo. Looks more like a Southside banger than a structural engineer. What's up with that? Get him! First time inside? Yeah. Here's some advice, fish. There's two kinds of time, hard and easy. Hard time is being locked up all alone in the secure housing unit, the shoe. Easy time is, well, <laughs> easy. Which kind you want? Easy sounds good. Smart man. Now see T-Bag over there? He's been crossing me up, just begging for some hard time. Go pick a fight with him, and I'll know you and me got an understanding. Don't do it, and it's the shoe for
punch. Come on, punch it. You teabag, we need to talk. Oh my, does the pretty little guppy need protection in this big bad aquarium? I go my own way. This little pond you call your turf, I get free passage. Guppy wants to swim in my pond. Guppy's got to pay maintenance and upkeep. Unless you want us to fight, and for that, I don't think you have the requisite testicular proportions. Bag. You just got your country ass a one-way ride to the show! Ah, the light begins to dawn. Like the song says, looks like I've been set up like a bowling pin. Watch your back, milk chicken. Taking on tea bags is a sure way to gain some respect of the brothers in this place. And you can throw your fists, white boy. My name is Sino. Now, how would you like to earn some grain? What do you got in mind? There's Mr. King. He runs the fights. Everyone's in on it. Even the guards. You lose, bad news. You Hey, King. I found a hot one. The boy can punch. <laughs> Big man wants to earn, huh? I'll take a shot. See, note, I ain't taking any more of your fighters till I get the meds you owe me. When we are right, your boy can fight. Listen, Snowflake. My connection hit my stash in the boiler room, but got himself shanked before he told me where. Find those meds for me, and you get to fight. Even on the inside, cash is king. Fighting to get money might help me get closer to Schofield.
pharmacy delivery. Good job, Snowflake. Now you got potential, white boy. Hit the heavy bag, do some burners, you could do all right. Meantime, you ever want some tats, bring me the cash. I'll ink you up righteous. What about the new guy, Schofield? What about him? His tattoo. Ain't my work, but I know it's fresh. Michael, what the hell are you doing here? Roll it up, Burroughs! I'm breaking you out, Link. Impossible. Not if you design the place. But first, I gotta get into prison industries. Burroughs, I said move your ass! Schofield's planning a prison break. No details yet. I gotta tell Mannix. Mannix. Here's the deal with Schofield. He wants to bust his brother out. No way. That place is like Fort Knox. I know, but Boy Genius has a plan. It involves prison industries. I gotta get in there. Bathing? Maintenance? Crap like that? Talk to Charles Westmoreland. He'll know how to get you on a work crew. Charles Westmoreland? I know you. I knew your wife, before she passed. You knew Marla? You mean Anne. How'd you know her? I was the janitor in her school. East Farmington. You mean West Wilmington. Okay, no more tests. You wanna learn the ropes? Look around. Trey Street Deuce has got hoops. Norteno's got handball. Wood's got the weight pile. Then there's Bellick and his boys. Dirtiest gang in the whole place. Only difference between us and them is the badge. Thanks for the tour, but I need to get into prison industries. Ah, uh, that's a string I can't pull. You need John Abruzzi. He runs P.I. Abruzzi? The mob boss? Right over there, son. Time to go kiss the ring. Mr. CEO's get a piece of the action. Now get inside! I hear you're the man to talk to about P.I. Who the hell are you? Someone who needs a favor. Funny. That fish Schofield just asked me the same thing. Beat it! I don't do favors. Then maybe we can do business. Any chores you need done? Bello, let's see if you can swim, fish. One of my guy's teats I hear is turning rat. But I gotta know for sure before I exterminate him. Okay, what's the play? I've seen him talking to Bellic. Check the seal's locker in the file room, see what you can find.
Hey, where'd he come from? Hey, Lewis, you going up to admin? Put this on my desk. No problem! Hey, Davis, command some stairwell check in the basement. You copy? Got it. I'm on the top floor. I'll clear it and work my way down. Hey, Louie. You punching out? Need to talk with Becky, and then I'm gone. Talk? Right. Shut up, moron. Hey, Becky. Hey, Louie. How are you? Easy like a truck stop hooker. Can I help you with something? Well, my uniform pants are getting kind of tight. We can't have our officers restricted in their movements. That's what I was thinking. It's a security matter. Come with me. I'll see what I can do. We're gonna get caught. By who? The warden. Baby, right now, right here, I am the warden.
Yo, new guy! A bruiser's waiting for you in the showers! You spied on me, bastard! Now you die! Teats was selling you out, John. I'll kill that traitor. He's not going to be talking for a long time. You've earned your way into P.I., my friend. I made it into P.I. Now I can keep an eye on Schofield and figure out what he's up to. Trouble's coming. Someone's gonna bleed. Something is brewing. Whites and blacks are gonna go at each other real soon. I gotta watch my back. Ain't nobody gonna hang back! Out of my face! You hear the trumpets. It's jumping off. Gonna be some blood. All right, break it up, ladies. What's up, Snowflake? You been taking me for a fool? What are you talking about? I seen you up there hanging with the Hitler Youth, walking the walk. It, it's not what you think. They've got something I need. That's funny. I got something you need, too. You need your pug knack, don't you, Snowflake? Huh? It's all yours. Looks like your white boy luck just ran out. Move it! Everyone to the yard, now! <clears throat> Schofield wants Pugnak, insulin blocker. Nothing in his file about that, so he must be up to something in the infirmary. I gotta check that out. Schofield, infirmary, now!
avocado's out in the hall. He's in a nasty mood. I'm gonna go get something to calm him down, okay? Michael Schofield, right? I'd like to run some tests next time you're in. Last thing I want is to be administering insulin to a man that doesn't need it. Yeah, sure. Avocado cut the crap! What's happening here? Avocado's losing it again! Hmm. Schofield is diabetic. Comes every day for insulin shots. So what's with the pug neck? He's faking it. The infirmary is part of his plan somehow. I gotta phone this into Mannix. You done in the infirmary? Back in the yard! Schofield is taking drugs to get daily access to the infirmary. I don't know why yet. Find out more, dammit. Stop Schofield any way you can, but don't mess with Burroughs. He's got to go to the chair as scheduled. Anything else will bring people sticking their noses into places we don't want them. Hey, champ. What? War's coming and looks like you're wearing the wrong color skin. Someone might make a mistake, think you a Nazi, cut your ass to gully. Am I right, brothers? Right. We could let that happen. Or we might could make sure it don't. You want me to do something for you, right? <laughs> See now, you and me are on the same frequency already. I need to get me a good supply of a drug called Pugna. They stash it in the loony bin. I get it for you. You watch my back? Like you was from the hood. Deal. You sure it's in the asylum? Yeah. Secure cabinet. You're gonna need a lockpick. And be careful of them J-Cats. Them boys is crap. Hey, if anyone knows... Something you want? Itchy fists? Follow me.
<laughs> you my showcase, bro. Hi, John. How's Teets? Still not talking. I need a lockpick. What do I look like? A hardware store? No, you look like the man in charge. Got that right? Tell you what, Fiorella lost his shank. He's gonna need one when the feces hits the fan. You get me a solid kitchen knife. I'll get you a lockpick. Got it. You bring it to me outside the kitchen. I got a crew there painting walls. Take out the chica. Wow, good work, Paisano. This should cut right through some of that dark meat. Guess I'll call off those guys I told to shank you. <laughs> it was a joke, Fish. Very funny. Here, a lot of memories in this one. Take good care of it. I've got the lockpick, so I'm ready to go after the Pugnack for C-Note. Next stop, Crazy Town.
damn sprinklers are leaking again. I shut off the main valve while they work on them. What are you doing? They catch you here, you'll be in the shoe for months! Thanks, old man. Yo, champ! What happened to you? You're pugnack. You're like the mailman, bro! You always deliver. Nobody can stop what's coming. But me and my boys will look out for you best we can. Heads up! Batter up, cons! Stand your gate! T-Bag, get back on your number! I need backup! I said back on your number! Chicken, I got a message from T Pay.
Mannix still wants more on Schofield. I saw Sucre and Schofield arguing during the riot, and now Sucre is moving in with me. Maybe I can pump him for information. Paxton, meet your new Sally. Get in there, Sucre. You girls play nice. Paxton, right? Yeah. You and Schofield have a falling out? Yeah. We're history. What's with him and his tattoos? <laughs> He's local, man. I'd like to get a better look at him. They look like real art. You want to talk with him? See Abruzzi. He's the one that manages PI schedules. Hey, Sucre. I put that whack job haywire in with Schofield. This ought to be worth some laughs. Paxton, time for PI. Punch! Come on, punch it! Punch! Block! Punch! Come on, punch it! Punch! Come on, punch it! Punch! Punch! Come on, punch it! Punch! Hey, Paisano, I need a favor. Bellic puts haywire in Schofield's cell. He's a little, you know. No telling what it might do. I got a vested interest in Schofield. I want Haywire out of there pronto. Beat it. I don't do favors. You catch on quick, Fish. Maybe we can do some business. Anything you need these days? How about some time alone with Schofield? Why? You don't need to know. Okay, fine. You get Haywire out of there, and I'll arrange some quality time for you and Schofield. But don't hurt him. I got something in mind for that boy. Any suggestions for moving Haywire? He takes meds, crazy meds for his head. Switch them with rat poison pills from chemical storage, and he'll be sent to the infirmary. I'm on the right track. I'll get a one-on-one -on -one with Schofield after I switch Haywire's meds with rat poison. Maybe I can bluff Schofield into revealing more about his plans. So you hate doing maintenance here in Fox River, eh, Bataglia? No, sir, I don't. Really? It's just a job, same as any other. Then move your lazy ass, meatball!
Don't touch me! Don't take my brain! Okay, okay? Full moon again! Calm down, I got 20 cc's of Shutter Yopo right here. Haywire's on his way to the infirmary. Did you set up the meat? Schofield's in the shed. He's all yours. Don't make me come looking for ya. Abruzzi said you wanted to meet. You're planning a breakout. I want in. Otherwise, I spill everything to Bellic. <laughs> nice try, pal. Everyone in this joint has a plan to bust out. Why should I be any different? I know you're up to something. Beat it, fish. You wanna find out, huh? Hey you, dirtbag! Get back to the yard, now! Jack, I'm certain. Schofield and Burroughs are planning a breakout. A brute sees in on it too. When? Don't know. Gotta be soon. Burroughs doesn't have much time. Okay, Paxson, change of plans. No more observe and report. Take any action to ensure Burroughs dies in the chair. Not by a guard, not by a shank, not in a riot. Stop him any way you can, short of killing Burroughs. I'll do my best, but I'm still a fish in this tank. Just do it, or I'll come down there and do it myself. Focus on Burroughs. Focus on their... Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Teats for tat. Hmm, <sighs> let's take a look at you. What happened? <sighs> Cut myself shaving. Of course you did. Looks like it might be infected. We'll need to keep you overnight in sickbay. <gasps> Dr. Tancredi, need some help with Haywire. Can't keep anything down, huh? Yeah, he just started puking. One of Schofield's cranes, and a setup to corrode the pipe. That's why Schofield's coming in here. This is the escape route. Paxton, move it, sick bay! I'm on it, boss. Just gotta tie my shoelaces. Hurry it up! Haywire has been sketching Schofield's tattoo. It's his escape plan. If I can get the rest of the drawings, I'll be able to stop Schofield in his tracks. I'd have machine guns for hands. That's not a superpower. You wouldn't need a superpower. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> then just carry two machine guns. A superpower is something you're born with, like you can fly or your finger glows. What good is that? A glowing finger. You wouldn't need a flashlight to check up a con's ass. Knock it off, boys. This is a closed frequency. Find your own damn channel. Apologies, sir. Leave me outside, more. Cool. Right after I finish my round. falling apart. Can you fix it or not? Uh, it doesn't matter. I patch it up here, it's gonna leak somewhere else. Holy crap! What's that? What now? Agility, and you can climb anywhere you want. Beat that! You wanna be a freaking insect? Spiders aren't insects, you moron. Hey, Doesn't you matter. One can Someone of bug spray and you barely up. I'd rather be a guy made out of rock. Yeah, that makes sense. You already got rocks in your head.
Hey, shut up! Hey, wire! It's a map. The pathway to hell. Freak show! Shut your pie hole or I'll shut it for you! Look at it. Can't you see? Oh, now you piss me off for real! It's the road to hell! I know it! Well, I'll show you the road to hell! There's a map on his body. I've seen it! Oh, what did I do to deserve this? I should have gone to college. Schofield's trying to escape. Officer, I appreciate your fast response, but it is clear we are dealing with a false alarm. Tell your men to stand down. Schofield set off the alarms just to see how the guards would respond. He must still be planning his route. I've got to get the prison blueprints and compare them to Haywire's drawings. Full-scale riot. Schofield might have started it as a cover for his breakout. I've got to find him and Burroughs. Hey, Doc! Man, Back 
Take off, pigs! Don't! Who's Please! The boss now? Don't! <laughs> Snipers, get down! I'm gonna die in here! You and whose army? <laughs> Tear gas. Hello, milk chicken. T Bag sends his regards. <laughs> at the Lord. this open. Homeboy, patience is overrated. Uh, easy, big fella. Looks like you took a pretty good hit. Michael, where's Michael? Haven't seen him since this thing started. I gotta find him. Paxton, come help me hold him down!
The trick is the pressure. You need to push hard, but not too hard. You gotta be careful. One little slip, you hit the gas pipe. Gas pipe as in, uh... The pipe that carries the gas. They're drilling their way out. I gotta reach Burroughs and cut him off. You looking for Schofield? You know where he is? Follow me. Somehow, I don't think so. Johnny, watch out! Here's a little present from T-Bag! Jesus Christ, you killed him! Didn't have much choice. Stop. Don't, don't do it. Who are you? What do you want from me? Thanks, man. You saved my life. Did you see Burroughs? Down there in the boiler room. Why did you do this? Who sent you? You gotta help me. Please, talk. Kill Burroughs and Paxton? What the hell? Someone sent Turk in here to kill me and Burroughs. Makes no sense, but I'll work on it later. Gotta stop the escape first. Hey, you killed Johnny, you son of a bitch! Didn't think you could take me alone? <laughs> Smart man!
freezing me! Have a nice trip, Paxton. See you in the fall! Right's over, Paxton. You're going to the shoot. All inmates accounted for. Five dead, but no escapees! I thought the riot was the prison break, but it was just a smokescreen to give Abruzzi and Sucre time to drill that wall. I've still got a little time. Maybe I can use it to figure out who hired Turk to kill me. Paxton, shoe time's over. Abruzzi needs your ass in P.I. Now! John, I can't say I admire your taste. Tranquilo, boss. Hey, paisano. Hey, John, the knife I got you. How'd it work out? Good, but I lost it. How? Uh, I left it in some guy's stomach. That's why you're here. They cleaned out the joint and now I've got nothing, not even a toothpick. I'd be a lot more comfortable if I had some, you know, leverage. The sharp and pointy kind? Bravo. Exactamente. I can swing that, but I need your men to find out about a guy named Turk. I need to know his story. His story is he's dead. Beaten to a pulp in the boiler room. I read that chapter. I want to know if someone was running him. Okay, I will look into it. But in the meantime, take this ball from the yard benches and see if you can turn it into something. Get on it, now! You big ugly jackass. You think you're better than me? Calling you stupid would be an insult to stupid. Damn machine, a bomb could go off and I wouldn't hear it. Wilson! Hey, shut it down! I can't hear a goddamn thing! Got it. I'll be right over. All I'm saying is the drill press was made in some Asian hellhole where they ate fish eyes for breakfast. And the only metal they got is left over from old rice buckets. Well, that grinder over there is good old US of A American steel. And it ain't never gonna wear out. You can't tell me one ain't better than the other. Yeah, maybe you're right. Anyway, I gotta go see the Pope, boys. <laughs> Must be getting a raise.
hell? Again? I'm not a fool, <laughs> Captain Pellick. I won't have my inmates fighting like pit bulls. Now shut it down. I wouldn't know anything about that, sir. <laughs> What's that on the wall? Blood? That's just red paint, Warden. That's all. Well, clean it up, Captain. And I don't just mean the paint. Or, Williams, get to work. is falling apart. I'll check it out. Any luck? When you're as good as me, you don't need luck. Cocky, eh? I like that. I'll get back to you when I got that information about Turk. Thanks. Hey, hey, where are you going? You're on PI now. I gotta make a phone call. Mannix, it's Paxton. What the? 
Tom, are you right? Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> Schofield staged a riot, but it was just a smokescreen. For what? Abruzzi and Sucre are digging a hole under A-Wing. Damn. That ain't all. Their escape route leads through the infirmary. Schofield's been corroding a pipe there so he can get in through a drain, but I can't get to it. Okay, let me think. There's nothing you can do about the hole under A-Wing. But if you can't fix the pipe, maybe you can get someone to do it for you. How? Forge a work order for the repair. Maintenance will get in there and fix it. Easier said than done. I'd have to get into the warden's office. So stop talking and start doing. Hey, dog meat! Where's your PI uniform? To the locker room! On the double! Rap! I gotta run up to the warden's office. You take one step out of this room before I get back, and it'll be your ass. Menix sounded strange on the phone, but his orders were pretty clear. I need to sneak into the warden's office and forge a work order. I don't frickin' believe it. They had to put this place in mothballs. Hey, Roy, what's the score? We're down, 15. God damn it! I'm gonna lose my shirt. The warden will be with you in a moment, Captain.
Okay, red and blue, I understand, but what's this green wire doing here? He's a good kid, Michael Schofield. I think so, too. Did you see what he did with the Taj? My wife will be over the moon. She's a lucky woman. Sir, Captain Bellick is waiting outside. Thanks, Becky. I'll talk with him in the hall. Uh, in the meantime, could you get me a cup of coffee? Certainly. Just leave it on my desk. It should only take a minute. ready. A work order? Just sitting here? No wonder this place is falling apart. Uh, what a mess. I'll just put this in the closet. Becky, Captain Bellick's report's more complicated than I thought. Will you please come take notes for me? Uh, certainly, Warden. No sugar, no cream. Thanks, man. Nice outfit. You buy it off the rack? Now get your ass back to P.I. Give this jerk off some work. He's been sitting around all day. I don't know what you're mixed up in, but I would drop it. What do you mean? That guy, Turk, he's a ghost. There's nothing on him. It's like he's never existed. Three of my associates on the outside were clubbed like baby seals for just asking about him. So I don't want to push this any further. A deal's a deal. I got you the shank. Are you a man of your word or not? Madre di Dio! 
Okay. Look, listen. If you can get me the phone records for the past couple of weeks, maybe I can run through the numbers. See who he was calling. How do you know who's been using the phone? Hey, that's my business. I know everything that goes down in this yard. Okay, where can I find the records? They're on a computer in the storage facility. You can get in through the pump house, print out the records, and bring them back to me. Another break-in, but I gotta risk it if I want to find out who hired Turk to kill me and Burroughs. Hey, boss! How'd you like to see us kick this guy's ass? It might bring a little sunshine into an otherwise dreary day. Next? This is for Johnny, you piece of crap! What are you guys, this fan club? Hmm. <laughs> 